Why does the start of your life feel as though it could be the end of the world? Welcome to HSC 2017, the 50th HSC. I think there's always that little bit in the back of your mind that goes, this is going to be a question that I was never expecting. It's big for now. At the moment, it's quite a big part of life. Of course, wise heads visiting students today after the first exam, English, know it can be the start of something big. Today is just the beginning. Uh, my advice always is uh, work out what you're passionate about and work your hardest, irrespective of your results. Since the HSC started in 1967, 50 years ago, over 2.3 million people have received an HSC. One of the very first was David Cook, who did his HSC at Cumberland High in 1967. Those times were different. Unemployment was 1%. You could pluck jobs off a tree like low-hanging fruit. Now young people have to prepare for a world where they'll have multiple careers, where technology will continuously change the way they work. I'd like to do maybe creative writing or law, just depending on what takes my fancy. Something automotive or... Uh, something to do with carpentry, so something at TAFE. The times have changed. In 1967, a third of students studied French and only five learned today's most popular language, Japanese. This year, 78,000 students will sit at least one HSC exam from around 127 subjects that are now available as part of the HSC. That compares with 50 years ago when there were just 28 subjects available. But then, as now, some things remain exactly the same. Hey, no peeking. <laughs> Ross Greenwood, Nine News. Those poor students having Roscoe walk straight through the guts of them.